All right, here we are at our first uh, memorable town en route to uh, Arizona for the winter. And we're at Dodge City, Kansas. And we'll be talking about Dodge City's stinky little secret. All right, stay tuned. Coming in from the uh, east last night, we started smelling farm cows. And uh, this is the reason. This is just uh, east of Dodge City. And as we got here last night, we uh, went out for dinner at a local brew pub and we could smell this because the wind had changed from west to east, from to east to west. And uh, it's quite ripe. There's thousands of cows here. And this is part of uh, Dodge City I did not know about. Anyways, there you go. Dodge City's dirty little secret, stinky little secret. Who are you playing cards with? Why, huh? An old locomotive steam engine sitting out front. Looks like it's seen better days. Boot Hill Special. Steam engine. So we were just in the Boot Hill section. It's uh, basically a gift store. And then they've got the uh, live show in the back, a mock-up of a uh, old uh, downtown city. There's lots of videos on YouTube. I've seen it where the people go in there and film it. We're too early, there's no shows yet. And then here's the museum. You gotta pay to go in to see the museum. And then over here is the Great Western Hotel. We're gonna walk over to that and check out what's going on there. We've got the train across the the way there and uh, Wyatt Earp Drive, McDonald's just over there, old uh, green, green elevators across the street and then uh, yeah this hotel looks like it's all gated off and there you can see the start of the uh, old main street where they have the uh, cowboy shows and stuff like that Put on, but yeah it looks like there's no access to this building. Anyways, we'll head back downtown, Dodge City, and see what uh, see what's in the actual downtown for shops. They sell uh, shirts here, or souvenir shirts in the Boot Hill uh, gift store, but they're the Gildan shirts where the, the sleeves are very short, and I don't like those type of shirts. I need a longer, a short sleeve shirt, but longer sleeves, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. Anyways, but uh, so they got nice, uh, cow horns in there and purses and cowboy hats whatever and here's the uh, other side of town of that uh, cowboy simulated western town it's like an old uh, schoolhouse oh no it's a church and yeah I guess they put on a live show here later on in the afternoon looks like it's uh, $20 for adults $68 for family members anyways if you have a family discount. So this is the uh, one of the big statues you see first coming into town. James Arnaz says Marshal Matt Dillon and Gunsmoke. Pretty tall statue. Right at the uh, Visitors Information Center, which is closed. It's around 11 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I, I'm not sure why it's closed, but anyways, let's carry on with our walking tour. So down there is the uh, brew pub we had. Uh, we stopped at last night. We had pizza and beer and nachos. It was pretty good. Pretty good pizza. Would you give the nachos and the pizza rating out of ten? The pizza was a three. Really? And the nachos were an eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I was going to say pizza was a five. The they, beer was a ten. The beer was a ten. The the pizza they really tried hard. It's a it's a uh, brick oven pizza. 
The crust was good, but the sauce missed the mark, and the cheese missed the mark. And then you put that salty stuff on top, which is Yeah. Not, not what we're used to. Still, many people find it good. It's rated very high, but we were just not, not our style, basically. All right, let's head downtown. We got a pizza hut here on the corner. This looks like the back end of the downtown section, parking and stuff. We'll go around the corner. The whole main street is tore up for reconstruction, so you can't drive down it. So we gotta walk. And we've got a gun store here. Don't worry, I won't make you go in. That's that's another YouTuber. So this is the start of the, I guess, the old downtown section. Like an antique sword of some sort. Body waxing. I'm sure that was popular in the 1800s. Oh, we got a bit of an old downtown section here. Kind of looks like a hospital. Whatever it is, it is empty. Oh, it is a bank. First National Bank. 1901 Carnegie Arts Center Daily Globe. Must be a theater remodeled. And another business for lease for sale. Looks like offices. And a parking lot. I guess we'll go here to the end and then walk across the street. Wardrobe cleaners. Old neon sign. No neon left though. 
refrigerated storage. When I was a kid, I used to remember my, my, my mother sent her fox coats for refrigerated storage. Let's see what's in here. Oh wow, it's got the old racks from the dry cleaning down. The old dry cleaning racks. So this was an only, not only was it a dry cleaner, but it was actually where they did the dry cleaning. And it didn't, didn't, it didn't get trucked away. This is the units in there. Clean that off. Wow. Pretty cool. All right, we're at the end of the, pretty much the end of the uh, commercial part of it. We'll go across the street. I don't see many YouTubers other than in Canada that do walking tours. Oh, there you go, there's your niche. So we gotta, if I can walk straight, we got a gift store here. Different clothings. Nutrition. Everybody's windows needs a good cleaning. We must not have window washers in this town. Central American food. Modelo. Restaurants, they're completely covered and you can't see it. It's the same place. Oh, okay. Empty. I don't think it's lunchtime yet. Looks like we got an old theater here. Seconds. Obviously, a, a bar. You say a bar. Looks like an old theater. There's a black Druid and Mary. Vanilla ice. Looks like a Western store. Dress store.
art gallery. Back on White Herb Drive there with the cow, the Longhorn, and the median. So let's head over this way. Looks like another old storefront, old storefronts. Go down and see this last section of the street and then we'll call it call it a day for at least the walking tour part of it. store across there with the old beer signs. And this here Ford County Government Center. Federal building, I'm thinking. County building. Part of the tour, we're on Gunsmoke Street. The cross streets are numbered first, second, third, fourth. But yeah, that's it. Pretty much the, the down the old downtown section. Oh. Out on the uh, east side of town is the uh, old Central Station. It's now been uh, it's now been converted into a bar. But this is the old train station. The tracks are in the back there. Walk around.
It's a theater, that building. at the train station they have a uh, old sundial clock pointing now at 12 o'clock noon and it is 10 after 12. There's the train station and this is now a theater. I don't know what it used to be but it is now a theater by the train tracks. So I almost hear the Steam engines now. Almost looks like a uh, deck for passenger trains. So there must be some sort of passenger train service going through here as well. See if we can see inside. You want these right This was the old train station. Yeah, Amtrak stops here. Not today. There's a statue coming into town from the east, wider. There's the, uh, see if I get my shadow on that. There's the uh, Dock City Lawman between 1876 and 1879. I've followed him a little bit in the movies. I think he was down at Tombstone at some point. Um, I'm not sure if it was before or after his stint here. Anyways, that's a pretty big six shooter. Wider, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, here we got our long wider drive, wider street, and this is like the back end of the downtown.
Did you go into the Western store? Yep. Where did you? you I was just looking at uh, like, the outside stuff. Like, uh, I stopped, like, very convincing. Yeah. There's no shortage of uh, Mexican restaurants. This is called Little Mexico. Mexico, a little city in Santa Cruz. Yeah. 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 Oh, here's the Italian restaurant in town. It's open. I wonder what their pizza's like. I don't want pizza. I don't want to try anything for lunch. For lunch? Yep. What about for dinner? Well, I'll worry about that then. Oh. I really don't want pizza dinner. Well, you, you can eat other things here, right? Yeah. Pasta, veal, chicken. I'm just giving the, giving the rundown. Pizza Hut, man. We stopped by this uh, little donut shop. I guess there's only four locations, if I understood her correctly, but we'll let you know what they taste like. They're pretty good. Like Tim Hortons used to be, not anymore. Junk. <laughs> 